How's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm sort of introducing things already knowing what happened. This is a video about how I saved a mature male P. Regalis's life. Yes, I literally saved his life. He was going on a romantic date with the female and well, let's just say that he was almost on the menu. Well, without further ado, here's the uh, scary footage and hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you think. What would you do in this situation? That's what I wanna know, what would you do? All right guys, so forgive the uh, poop and stuff. I guess this is an honest uh, video here. Uh, I haven't had the chance to clean our enclosure. So here's the mature male P. Regalis. We're going to gently coax him out of the enclosure and have him climb up here. I think that as soon as he's on this glass, he'll recognize the female scent and start drumming or tapping, what have you, which should get her to come out of her hide and gently climb up the glass here to meet him somewhere there for the potential courting. So let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. So hopefully we don't have a similar situation to the last video with the Monocentropus Balfoury breeding where the male really was bolting around. If you haven't seen that video, it's up here in this corner. You can watch it next or stop and watch quick. But uh, let's see if we can get this male out gently here. Here we go. Come on, buddy. You're okay. All right. Okay, that was, that was scary. Um, we got the mail out, he's safe. Mm, I saved his life. Whew. I got you, brother. I got you. But Indira got one of his legs. Um, yeah, she, she got one of his legs. And she's eating it, so she's, she's a cannibal woman, I guess. <sighs> My heart's racing, cause like, that, that was scary. She started climbing up the bamboo stick and she could have gone for me next, but that wasn't her intention. She was just really heated in the moment, whether it was an aggressive response towards the male or uh, just a food response and I was making a, a bamboo stick move around, right? So she climbed it looking for him or, or the foods, the potential food source. Whew. Close call. I get a little nervous breeding pokey sometimes because I always want to save the male, but I'm so hesitant if things don't work out, you know, like I don't ever want to get tagged. Hmm. Okay, we have some things to reevaluate. So guys, breeding spiders can be tricky business, and although it's not a given thing to have occur, cannibalism is sometimes a risk factor. If your female isn't receptive and she's super hungry or conditions haven't been pre-prepared, this was an off thing because I was pretty sure this female was going to be receptive and unfortunately she clearly wasn't. Um, the male tapped, maybe he didn't tap enough and she sensed something and went for him. I'm hesitant to try again soon but I think we will. Um, hopefully the male recovers okay. He did lose a leg, I'm watching. The hemolymph isn't really flowing out much and I don't think she pierced him anywhere else. But that is one of the risk factors with breeding. And I had to be very careful getting involved in trying to save her because I don't know, for example, if you've seen Rob C's videos, Tarantula Guy 1976, he has had the misfortune of being tagged by a P or not a female while trying to save a male. And that is not fun business whatsoever yet. 
Pokey venom is not something you want to mess with. You need to be present, you need to be thinking, you need to expect the unexpected. These animals are very fast, they can teleport, and you definitely never want to let your guard down. So I felt like I was in a position where I could uh, hold a bamboo stick from afar and try to save him, and it worked this time, so we're very lucky with that. But I do just want to give a disclaimer. For those of you that are keeping pokies, first of all, I do not encourage handling of this genus whatsoever. There are a lot of people that do it, so be it, that's your decision, but I really discourage handling of that genus because they are rather potent and the effects of their venom are not to be messed around with. It'll cause you a lot of pain and it's unnecessary stress to the animal too because they don't appreciate being handled. So really the best thing to do is just work with them with tongs, uh, paintbrushes and be gentle and appreciate them from a distance, right? So I just want to emphasize that you do need to be careful. Of course, you always want to save a male during a breeding attempt that goes south, but sometimes letting him get eaten is safer because at the end of the day, you do not want to do anything that compromises your health and safety. So just saying, although I was able to get in there and save him, doesn't mean you should do the same if you're trying to breed your animals. So, hey, my man, you made it to see another day. I'm happy about that. That really sucked. I hope you enjoy your future husband's leg as a meal, cannibal woman. But hopefully next time will go better. If you guys enjoy this video, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. And I have so many more videos planned in store to show you guys. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. You know, don't give the video a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up for that male who got away. Props to him. I can't imagine how scary it'd be being a spider or mantis or any animal like that that gets cannibalized, uh, you know, five to eight times out of ten during a breeding uh, attempt. I'm very thankful that the human species doesn't work that way, you know? So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and see you all again soon. Hello.